Hello and welcome to another video. Well, this is pretty early on, really. This could be the first one you've watched. Who knows? Anyway, today we're talking about the accuracy of measuring instruments. What does it mean? Um, and in the words of someone, no one knows what it means, but it gets people going. Anyway, here we are. What are we talking about? So let's say we are talking about a, a, a ruler, right? And so you use your ruler and you tell me that the length of your book is 23 centimeters. That's great, but your book's probably not exactly 23 centimeters. There's probably been a little bit of rounding happening in there. So this is kind of the concept we're getting at here. So if you're telling me we're dealing with good old 23 centimeters here, if that's rounded correct to the nearest centimetre, well, the nearest centimetre is either side. You've got 24 up here. You've got 22 down here. What we're kind of getting at is the idea that when you're saying 23 here, kind of everything from here to here rounds to 23. So really what's happening is if your book's 22 and a half, or bigger, so 22.5, 22.6, 22.7. You're going to tell me it's 23 centimeters. Uh, that's if it's to the nearest centimeter. I mean, you could use the millimeters. We'll talk about that in a second. But really, uh, the minimum is going to be 22 and a half centimeters. And at the top end here, the maximum it's going to be is 23.5 centimeters. So everything between 22 and a half and 23 and a half rounds to 23. So if you're telling me you measured to the nearest centimetre, to the nearest centimetre, I know that the actual length of the book is between 22 and a half and 23 and a half. Okay, so that's how accurate it is, or half a centimetre out as a maximum on either end. And this all depends on how accurate you tell me you're going to be. So we could do the same, and we could talk about um, millimetres, but yeah, well, let's, just do, let's do another one with millimetres. Let's say you're telling me that the book is now, you're going to be a bit more accurate, you're going to tell me it's going to be 23.1 centimeters. So given what I'm looking at here, I'm going to assume that we're correct to the nearest one decimal place. So correct to the nearest one decimal place, because I've got one decimal place in, my, in your answer in what you're telling me. So where that kind of puts me on the line, it puts me at 23 Point 0.1 here, if it's to the nearest millimeter, well, or 0.1 centimeter, the next option I would have would be 23.2, it's not that, or 23.0, it's not that either. So if it's to 1 dp, that's 1 dp below, 1 dp above, we're assuming we're in this range here. Okay, because anything down this side over here in the orange is going to round to 23. Anything up here, I'll change color. Anything up here in the blue is going to round to 23.2. But I'm kind of stuck with that bound rounding to 23.1 because you've told me it's 23.1. Where that puts us, what my bounds become then, this bound here, this is 23.15. And below here, this is 23. 0 0.05. So when you tell me 23.1, I know, I assume it's between 23.05 and 23.15. Okay, it all depends how accurate you are with your measuring. So the 1 dp, this one here, to 1 dp, I've got quite a lot more accurate in terms of how long your book is. This one here had a range of a centimeter between these two. This one here has got a range of one millimeter between the two. So this one here, the bottom one, is a lot more accurate. Notation-wise, working the idea a little bit more, um, we say in general that the limits of accuracy, so limits of accuracy, we're talking about this here and this here, are plus or minus half the smallest unit of measurement. Yeah, great. In English, so it's plus or minus half the smallest unit of measurement. The smallest unit of measurement here is one centimeter. So half the smallest unit of measurement is half a centimeter, or half a centimeter either side of 23. Half a centimeter there, half a centimeter there. So the maximum error I have here 
is 23 and a half. So when you've told me it's 23, I know you're half a centimeter off at worst. This one here, my smallest unit of measurement is one millimeter or 0.1 centimeters. So my bounds, that there and that there, are 0 0.05 centimeters. So I've got a lot more accurate in terms of my measurement. Um, and if, in terms of 23.1, that there, I am 0 0.05 away from it at worst. Um, that is kind of the idea. So I'm just going to pull out down an example of this, I think. Um, so if I tell you, let's just say I take a measurement of uh, 30.6 centimeters. I might ask you a few questions. I can ask you for the maximum error. I can ask you for the bounds for the measurement as well. So what I've got here, this is correct to one DP. So I can assume pretty safely this this is this is going to be between 30.65 and 30.55. Anything between those two numbers is going to round to 30.6. Anything outside of that rounds to something different. So maximum error, the maximum I'm off is this here, subtract that there. So the max error is 0.05 and centimeters. Okay. And the bounds in which it lies, there's a bunch of different language around it, but it's going to lie between those two measurements in there. Where this also has applications is to length and area questions in particular. So if I tell you that I've got a veggie patch in my garden, it's 3 meters by 4 meters. In terms of error, the error compounds when you do calculation with it. So really, my veggie patch is going to be between 2.5 and 3.5 and and on this side, and between 3.5 and 4.5 and and on this side. So this here and this here, using the two and a half and the three and a half, that's going to start to calculate me minimums. So the minimum area here, so if I say A and say a little min there, so it's the area, but the minimum one would be two and a half by three and a half, which I don't know what that is. So let's just let's find what that is. 2.5 by 3.5, that's 8.75. The area that's quoted, so A you said is 3 by 4, which is 12. And then if I take, looking at the maximums, the maximums I've got 3.5 and 4.5. And and so A max is 3.5 by 4.5. That is 3.5 by 3.5 by 4.5 is 15.75. Okay, so because I've gone and changed the variance, the variable here's been my sides, 3 and 4. So my area differs quite a bit as well. So this is off by 3.25, and this is off by 3.75. And you can expect normally the maximum will get you the biggest error. But what you can see, it's not just 11.5 and 12.5. So I've done the calculation. The calculation here really blows those errors out. So just bear that in mind as you're doing calculations. Just as a side note as well, if you were doing the perimeter, uh, if I wanted a minimum perimeter, so P min is going to be 2 by 2.5. Two and 2 by 3.5, that's going to be 6 by 2 is 12, I think it is, in my head quickly. And if I look at the maximum perimeter, that would be uh, 2 by 3.5 plus 2 by 4.5, getting a bit messy, uh, 8 by 2 is 16. So again, the perimeter is going to be quite different. The normal perimeter would be... Um, 14. So, yeah, just bear that in mind. Maximum, um, the bounds of accuracy, 
limits the error. That's it in a nutshell. Um, feel free to ask questions, maybe chat to your friend about it a little bit as well. Um, it's always this half the smallest unit of measurement, so always be working with that. Yeah, I think that's it, probably the best explanation. So feel free to ask questions. It's a little bit wordy and technically. Um, let's just pull up another one. So I would revert back to something like this. Use a diagram if you need to, work out what you're rounding to, work out where you're lying between. Thanks for watching.